Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a video that's a little bit different, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I took this trip myself, my husband, and... Señora Perrona, aquí atrás. Aquí andamos por las calles de Jalisco, visitando la tierra del tequila. This is what I like to eat. It's amazing how you knock me off my feet. Mm. Every time you come around me, I get weak. Con ese amigo me dice, iba a venir a echar pleito. ¿Por qué? No te va a venir a cobrar porque, como que cobran no, un servicio. ¿Qué va a andar cobrando? Mira, caja, costo de servicio, ¿sabe qué hará? ¿Qué te dijeron? No quiere. Que no es para adelante. walking in it smells exactly like a sephora would here it has the same smell the same feel as well and as soon as i'm walking in there is already somebody greeting me and asking me if there's anything that i need help with but of course instead of english he's telling me and asking me in spanish and then um you do have all of the brands that we have here so the first stop i made was at urban decay and i think i was a little starstruck or product struck I couldn't I couldn't comprehend what was going on so I just started fixing all the testers I don't know I don't know what I was thinking but yes <laughs> and then I visit NARS which is one of my favorite brands I was super super excited I wanted to see the texture the quality if it was the same and it actually is I was a little skeptical I know that's so rude of me. So then I was looking at the price and you get it for 610 Mexican pesos. And in the US you get it for $33. So if you convert the currencies in Mexico, you will get it for $33.42, which is just a slight a little bit more expensive by some cents then I looked at the NARS precision lip liners and you get it for 490 pesos and here in the United States you get it for $26 with tax included but in Mexico you would get it for $26.84 so if I look a little sketchy honestly it's because I didn't let you record unless you asked for permission now I did ask one of the employees and that's exactly what she told me but I didn't have time because this was recorded a day before I left so I was like sorry I can't ask your permission I'm just gonna do this incognito sorry Sephora but I had to do it so next I stopped at Hourglass because it carries my favorite foundation and in Mexico you pay 1,095 pesos United States you pay $48 with tax included but when you change the currency you actually pay in Mexico $60 for this foundation I was super super surprised from the looks of it, it looks like they have everything that we have over there. Yes, you heard that right. They have everything that we have here, including Fenty Beauty. I was super, super excited. And I also made a friend, another swatcher like myself, was watching everything. So I was super, super excited that I forgot to tell my cameraman, aka my husband, to get the prices of the kilowatt highlighters. But I kind of saw them because I'm a genius. And you do get the kilowatt highlighter for... $37 here in the United States and in Mexican pesos you get it for 630 pesos which comes to about 34.52 
dollars so it's just a slight bit higher but nothing that i wouldn't pay for and they also have the little tissues and the lip gloss applicators the dofo applicators the wands so that you can test everything out and of course clean off all of the swatches that you did while you were visiting Sephora. Then I stopped at the Kat Von D little section and I was looking at the lipsticks, just looking at all the products that they have and I hadn't even seen these lipsticks here but I saw them there so I swatched some of the colors. Then they also have the shade and light palettes and I was looking at the locket concealers and they were priced for 500 Mexican pesos and here in the United States you get it for $28 with tax included so if you change the currencies you get them about $27.39 which is just a little bit cheaper than you would here in the United States. So then I looked at the liners and you get them for 450 pesos. Here in the United States, you get them for $22 tax included. But if you do the currency change, you get them for $24.65, which is just a little $2 um, of a difference. Not too bad. You also have beauty blenders and just you can find everything. Now, finally, I saw what I wanted to see, which was the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. Kind of surprised because all of the merchandise that they have, I don't know if you can see those little stickers, stickers, stickers. So I think what they're doing is they're just like translating everything the palette has into Spanish. So that was kind of interesting. Then I looked at all of the prices that they have for all of the um, glow kits you get them for 990 for the glow kit and then all of the palettes you get them for 1100 pesos it is kind of priced 1100 pesos equals to about 60 dollars so that is pretty pricey but i guess it just depends on what brand you are buying that's how they are priced so they also have the little sections where you can get all of the travel size items and I wanted to buy something just to see how the experience was when you bought something if it was the same as it is here. So it totally isn't. I just bought something that was 85 pesos which is like $5 or something like that. But the cool thing about the pricing in Mexico is that whatever price you see, that is the price that you're going to get because the tax is already included in the price, not like here where you see a price and then it's a little bit higher because of tax. So that is one thing that I loved about the pricing is what you see is what you pay. Now, um, when I tried to use my rewards program and all of that, I was explained that first of all, they did not have that service there yet so they do not have any rewards points you can be a beauty insider basically you can't you know get points and you can redeem your points for anything else so that was kind of a bummer so the whole experience of having somebody to ask for my number or my email did not happen they were super super nice super uh, attentive they told me oh i'm so sorry for the wait can you just give us a second another thing that i noticed is that i don't know if it was because it was early or because i just bought something like super cheap I, I didn't need anything so I wasn't gonna spend extra money on something that I didn't need and I didn't get a tissue paper she just gave me the little bag like that but of course just like any other purchase that I make at Sephora I walked out super super happy and super excited you're gonna see my face right now so I just exited the premises like I would in any other Sephora but like always, my husband always has to come back for me because when I'm walking out, for some reason, I see something else and I always, I'm like, wait, 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 and I come back. I saw the steel liquid, um, the metal eyeshadows, and I just had to see how much they were, and they are 500 pesos. I'm a and then I saw the ABH section, which I was surprised because it's pretty little and in the corner. But I guess they have two sections and that's why they're small. So once you are walking out, they do greet you and they tell you thank you for coming. And you're going to hear that right now. Gracias. The next stop I wanted to make was to Forever 21.
so finally made it to forever 21 and i'm walking in oh. first thing that I saw was that beautiful shirt I actually ended up buying it because it was just so pretty so cute I went to go try it on which is something that I never do in the stores I do not like to try on the clothes and I'm just showing you off the shirt and I have to say that forever 21 is really really nice it's like one of the nicest stores that I've visited here in the United States maybe because I haven't been out but yes the customer service was great they helped me right away the guy was super nice super attentive just like in sephora and as i think i paid like 399 pesos which is like 20 dollars for it and i was just so surprised of how nice forever 21 was before this i wanted to move to mexico and now i really really want to move to mexico because you get best of both worlds you get the little town feeling and then you can just drive an hour and you have the city Welcome to Coordinated. Everything's in stock, everything's well. Yeah, I want to come here and live. And now it is time to go for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have a second part to this. I went to Tequila. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys all for your support. Until next time.